Hi, kitty cats. Uh, blessings of the dark moon to you. We leave Thailand tomorrow, and I admit I'm a bit disappointed. I've missed my cat. Hey, Sapphire. I miss my friends. I miss some modern conveniences like a desktop computer. But I know I'm also going to miss this life in Thailand that I've shared with my family for a month. I appreciate being able to find well-prepared hot food on every street corner. I appreciate how rich or poor, high social status or not, fashionable or otherwise, we all stand on the train to allow elderly people or pregnant women to travel comfortably and safely. But it was observing traffic patterns that provided what I think defines this experience. Now, if you've never been in a taxi in Bangkok, let me paint a picture. Imagine vehicles of all sizes, buses, vans, cars, open car, cycle hybrids, motorcycles, scooters, bicycles, jammed into a space half the size necessary to allow everybody to get where they want to go. Now, I grew up on Los Angeles freeways and Bangkok appears far more rife with danger. It looks like a madhouse, but it works. And I think that comes down to one human characteristic, trust. Thai culture trusts that I don't intend to hurt them. In return, I can trust they don't intend to hurt me. Situations I would expect to devolve into fist fights, or worse, on LA freeways are nothing on Bangkok streets. We're all going somewhere, and if I trust you want to get there too, we will work together and get there. Now, systems theory observes that optimizing subcomponents independently leads to suboptimization of the system as a whole. In this example, if each car attempts to go as fast as possible, traffic slows down. Instead, we allow each subcomponent to adjust to optimize the system as a whole. And in this example, each car makes room for others and traffic flows. It's simple and it works. I've watched it, but it depends on each car being able to trust the flow of traffic. So I'm about to return to a culture that believes in trusting no one. Now, don't misunderstand me. Many people give you no reason to trust them. I can think of a few off the top of my head. But a culture of distrust, to assume if we want the same thing, I will hurt you to get it, sub-optimizes the society. When I leave Monday morning, I know I'm going to miss the happy smiles and pleasant demeanor of people who guess first that I'm a genuinely good person interested in cooperation and in so doing, fulfill that prophecy by acting kindly toward me. I've learned an incredible amount in Thailand. I wish more in the Western world would take that lesson. Talk soon. Bye.